Hi everyone, welcome back to the sheet painting. Uh, I'm going to use a similar colour to the colour I used on this sheep to put in some shadowy areas on the lamb. And as before, as the paint runs out on my brush, uh, I'll use that to my advantage and use the, the brush to make what are known as dry brush marks. And then apply the paint more thickly where I feel it's appropriate. And having done this, I'm now going to add some bursts of very light blue, uh, which is something we did earlier on, but I just want to kind of redefine the highlights along the back, and maybe even some pure white, or at least a burst of pure white, in places on the edge of the ear and down the front of the, the, the lamb's chest. So let's, uh, let's do the highlights along the back first. And as we move towards the rear of the animal, these actually get lighter. So I'm going to add more titanium white to the mix in just a moment. But before I do, I just want to put some bursts of this light, of this light blue on the head and the edges of the ears. Just little touches here and there. So I've added a little more white to the mix. And while we have that on the brush, even though there's a little bit of blue in the mix, let's, uh, let's use that on the chest of the animal here. Okay, so uh, we're getting quite close now to finalising the details on the, the heads of the two animals. But before we do, the next stage is to introduce some real uh, texture and uh, some even some dark shadows in this foreground area. Let's do the shadows first. So I'm going to begin with uh, a deep reddish purple. that, as you can see, I'm just kind of scumbling across this lower left-hand part of the painting. And having done that, I'm going to add quite a lot of ultramarine blue to the mix. So let's do that next. There we go, the paint's uh, all mixed up, so let's uh, introduce some of that here.
So we've got another nice dark shadow there, but it's a very different colour to this one. And now I'm going to mix up mostly ultramarine blue, but with some cadmium yellow. And I'm going to leave this little, little bit of uh, dark purple on my brush when I do that. Let's use some of that over here. And also to contrast against the chest and under the neck of this lamp. And we'll just work the brush back and forth to soften the edges of these shadow regions. And also blend them in to some of the others, to some of the colours I put down earlier on. Okay, and I think we'll leave it there for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this one. In the next video, what I will do is start to introduce a sense of light uh, in the grass area here in the foreground. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.